Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that the slant height of a first term of a cone is 4 cm and the perimeters that is circumferences of its circular ends are 18 cm and 6 cm. Find the curved surface area of the first term and use pi is equal to 22 by 7 and the options are A. 40 cm square B. 44 cm square C. 48 cm square and D. 52 cm square Now before starting the solution of this question we should know some results First is the curved surface area of the first one of the cone is equal to pi into r1 plus r2 the whole into l where r1 and r2 are the radii of the ends of the first term of the cone and L is the slant height of the first term of the cone and pi is a constant also R1 is greater than R2 secondly perimeter or circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle and pi is a constant. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question, the perimeters of the circular ends of the first term of the cone are given to us as 18 centimeters and 6 centimeters. Now given the perimeter of one circular end is equal to 18 centimeters and the perimeter of the other circular end of the first term of the cone is equal to 6 cm. Now let the radius of one circular end of the first term of the cone is equal to R1. Now using this formula which is given in the key idea so where the perimeter of one circular end of the first term of the cone with the radius R1 is equal to 2 by R1. Now putting this value here, this implies 18 centimeters is equal to 2 by R1, which further implies 18 centimeters is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into R1 which further implies R1 is equal to 18 into 7 over 2 into 22 centimeters which implies R1 is equal to here 2 into 9 is 18 and it will be 63 by 22 centimeters. Now let the radius of the other circular end of the first term of the cone is equal to R2. Therefore, the perimeter of the other circular end will be equal to 2 by R2. Now this is the perimeter of other circular end. So putting this value here, this implies 6 cm is equal to 2 by R2, which implies 6 cm is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into R2, which further implies R2 is equal to 6 into 7 over 2 into 22 
centimeters. Which implies R2 is equal to, now here, 2 into 3 is 6, so it will be 21 by 22 centimeters. Now the slant height of the frustum of the cone is 4 centimeters, and we have to find the curved surface area of the frustum. And we will use this formula to find out the curved surface area of the frustum. Now given the slant height of the frustum of the cone is equal to 4 centimeters, therefore curved surface area of the frustum of the cone is equal to pi into R1 plus R2 the whole into L. Now this is the value of R1, this is R2 and this is L. So putting all these values here, this will be equal to pi which is 22 by 7 into 63 by 22 plus 21 by 22 the whole into 4 centimeter square which is further equal to 22 by 7 into, on taking the LCM, it will be 63 plus 21 by 22, which is 84 by 22 into 4 centimeter square. Now here, 7 into 12 is 84. 22 will be cancelled with 22, so it will be 48 centimeter square. Therefore, the curved surface area of the frustum of the cone is 48 cm square. So the answer of this question is option C, which is 48 cm square. So this is the solution of the given question, and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.